Welcome to Workout Wednesday for Power BI 2025 Week 5. This week we are making a bar chart and adding an all or total category within the chart that isn't present in the source data. This week's data is stored in data.world. So I'm using that connector to access the single table of data. And my data types are already good. So now I just need to add the all category and I'm doing that here in Power Query. This is probably the optimal place to do it unless you could do it in a source query, but um, you could also do this in DAX and it would work okay, especially with this small of a data set. I would recommend you um, try the Power Query route as we like to do things as far upstream as possible. So I'm going to reference this data and rename it. And then I'm going to group the rows. And I'm naming this the same as the column from the source. And then in this case, I need an average of that column. So I'm going to end up with just this one cell, one row, one column. And then I'm adding a custom column to make it match the table schema of my source data. And it doesn't matter the order of your columns, really. I believe it matches on column name and data type. But now that we have this, we can append the original query. So we see our total row, and then we see the eight source rows. And our data types still look good. I'm leaving my column names the same. So I'll go ahead and apply that. And one of the requirements was to use an egg related background image. So I'll add that. And I'm going to have it fit. So you can see the egg, but I ended up making it just a little transparent to help the graph stand out once I place it. And then I gave my report a title. And I'll add 
my bar chart. Oh, I forgot to set my original table to not be loaded. Here we go. So I'm going to use item and then I'm going to make a measure because the data came in as a percentage, meaning eggs is 36.8% unadjusted change or unadjusted percent change. And I'd rather format it as a measure. So my measure is unadjusted percent change equals, I'm just averaging it, which if it's used per row, you just get the same number, times 0 0.01. And then I format that as a percentage, two decimal places is fine. And we'll get to formatting. So I did DIN 16 something like that color. Make sure I have plenty of width. Get my x-axis in there so we can start seeing the chart. Turn off my title. I'm going to, and this is totally preference, disable the values here because I'm going to direct label them. And then to get my color, there are lots of ways to do this. You can do it manually. I'm going to do it through DAX. So if the item is eggs, I'm going to make it a dark red color. If it's the average, I'm going to make it gray, otherwise it's a dark blue. So now I have that and I can go down to my bars, use my conditional formatting. And I'm going to say field value and bar color. There's my colors. Now I want to add data labels. And I'm going to put them outside end. And these can be, again, whatever font you choose. We have no requirements about that. I'm just going to make them. We'll keep it at 10. And make them a bit darker. Then we can change our size get it aligned
update our title to be more informative. Turn off our background. Make this a bit bigger. And then I just put a little attribution text in there, not required again. And that is our bar chart with a total column added to the data. We hope you enjoyed this week's challenge. Thank you so much for watching.